Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a, a random video I decided to make and it is actually a making of video so I'm making a making of video so in this video I'm going to show you guys how we edit our let's plays for the channel so first what I like to do this is Adobe Premiere by the way uh, we're going to do Halo 5 infection what the fuck so uh, normally to start I don't know what I'm going to edit so I, here's our big calendar that we have that we make so right here is where we're at Halo 5 infection so we're gonna be making that video today so come over here to the import videos column and it's gonna pull up this big <clears throat> window of stuff so we're gonna be doing Halo 5 Halo 5 we're gonna do infection so here's all the stuff we need for infection so what I like to do first is I like to grab all of the gameplays so there's Collins mine Masons and shoes and we import them into here take a minute come on ah oh, there it is all right so there's all of our gameplays so since I'm an egotistical bastard I start with myself first I just drag drag it in there and it starts a new sequence for me and it calls it whatever it is so here's just my naked gameplay right so obviously you'll notice uh, where's the names at the top so here we go up to title new title and then default still and then what I like to name it is I just like to name it and no boom and here's our big title sequencer make sure you have this selected as the type tool and just kinda click anywhere and I'm gonna type my name boom so there it is there's my name I don't really like the default font so I usually change it to uh, God, probably that that looks that looks pretty decent and then what I like to do is these little boxes right here I like to line it up on top of this line right here and then just where the first letter is outside of this box and then boom that's the name so down here in this I usually put a, a little shadow on it it's, it's hard to see but trust me it's there and then I put an outer stroke and then on outer stroke where it says size I usually like to bump that eh, to about 20 and then from there you go to color and then my color is blue so I usually pick a nice kind of dark blue and press OK and it puts a nice little stroke on it just like that boom so now from here I usually just do all the names from that there's a little thing up here called new title based on current slides so I don't have to make all this again so I just usually click that and I usually go down the line so I'll make shoes so we click on this shoe uh, go damn go down to here and then shoes colors orange pick a nice orange for him do it again for Mason and then we'll do it again for Colin and then from here all you gotta do is just exit out and then boom so here is my gameplay so I'm gonna take my name put it right there and then this little tool this little red thing comes up you just click it hold it drag it all the way out to where it matches the ends of the file boom you're done so now naturally when you listen to it really loud we're peeking out a lot up here so what I normally do is I right click I go to audio gain I go to adjust by and just based on previous things I usually go about negative 13 and that usually brings it way down to about you want it really at 24 so I need to take it down just a bit more so probably 15 there yeah you kinda want it right about there so also sometimes there's some desync which is you know if I fire a shot and then you hear it a few seconds later let me see if I can find one a little audio spike right there See how when I boosted, then you hear it just a bit later. So what you come in, you hit unlink, boom. I usually take a little bit off there, and then usually I'm, I'm pressing plus by the way to zoom in and minus to zoom out. So plus zooms in, minus zooms out. Zoom in way up here, and then usually, oh, it's like a few milliseconds, like maybe five. Boom, that looks pretty good. All right, minus to zoom out so my file is now ready from what I do here is I come over here and right here where it has this little icon that's this sequence I'm working on right here I press right click and it comes up with this big menu and halfway down it is this new sequence from clip so you want to click that and boom it makes this whole it makes this sequence of three things into the sequence of two things so we're done with this and then here is our new thing and I usually call this sync because that's where I'm gonna sync up all the audios to the gameplays now there's a bunch of clutter and I like to clean it up a little bit so if you just right click out here in some open space and there's a new bin option boom I make a new bin 
and then I click and hold and I drag over all the stuff I just made which is my stuff so then I can put it in that bin tuck it away boom all my stuff's out of the way so now we just have mine with my gameplay and my thing so I gotta add the other three morons so I control in brings up this menu and I usually go into 1080 and about 30 frames a second and I name the sequence shoe so we're gonna do shoes next so I take his gameplay I just put it in this thing press minus to zoom out a little bit I take his name put it at the front drag it all the way across and his gameplay is super loud too so I'm gonna take his down about the same as mine about 15 boom this is nice and kind of quiet just like mine so from here what I like to do is do another new sequence from clip on his name boom it comes up with this green once again and then I'm gonna click and hold it and I'm gonna drag it all the way to the sequence right here and then I'm just gonna drag it and drop it into there right and then we just close these out so boom there's mine and shoes both with our gameplay. and this right here this is the little toggle if I can view it so if I just take shoes out you can see mine underneath it so we take all the shoes stuff and then we put it in the bin all right and then now I'm gonna do the same thing for Mason and Colin And boom, there's all the gameplays stacked on top of each other. We got Collins, Mason's, Shoes, and mine. So there's all of our stuff. We just take it out here just a bit. And then now what I like to do for this part is this gameplay is not really necessary for me to view. So I come over here, right where under these audio things. I don't know what that does, but I normally do it. And I scroll down and see how it makes the track smaller. So I make all these tracks as small as possible. I'm going to take this up just a little bit. If you go in between the audio and the video tracks, you'll see this little thing right here. You can drag it and adjust it. So now next, I make a bin for the audio. And then now I come over here and I grab all the audio. We all have separate tracks. Like this is just my file with just my audio, Mason's, Shoes, and Collins. And then there's a master track that I like to just kind of throw in. So I'm going to grab all of those. I'm going to throw them in the audio file. And then one at a time, I like to layer them like they are here. So mine would be first because I'm egotistical. And then uh, Shoe is next. And then Mason. And then Colin. We don't miss, I don't mess with the, the master just yet. I, I work with it a little bit later. So now we have, it's getting really cramped. Uh, we have all of this stuff. And then now what I like to do is I take all these and I go to my presets and I have a couple compressors and dynamic stuff that I just throw on there real quick it makes the audio sound a little bit better and then I zoom in just a bit by pressing the plus button oh god and then now starts the syncing process where we go one by one and I line up all the videos with all the audio tracks the audio should already be synced they started at the same time as each other so let's give a listen and see who syncs first by the look of it it looks like it's shoe so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm going to toggle Collins out so I don't see Collins, and I'm going to toggle Mason's out so I only see shoes. Now this part kind of sucks, so I usually come over here and I scroll this up so I don't see the gameplay audio stuff. And I take this, because this is my big window that I work with, and I take this and I pull it down as much as I can. Boom, so where I can still get to where shoe. Colin doesn't matter because he's not synced yet. So, now let's listen and see if I can line up shoes gameplay with shoes audio track. Here we go. See, he's already a little short, so I know to pull this back just a bit. Looks like a little bit more. A little bit more. All right. One, two, three. Three, two, four. Right, and he fucks One, up like normal. Two, three. So he's still it's a little far back, so let's try this one. One, two, three. Three, three two, two, four. Yep, and he fucks up. One, two, three. Three, two, one, A. Yeah, it's a little off, so I'm going to just come in here a little bit more and fix it. One, two, three. There it three, is. Three, two, one, A. Boom. That looks pretty good to me. One, two, three. Three, two, four. Yeah, he always fucks up, so that's that's nothing normal. All right, so I take his track out. I don't need to look at his track anymore. I usually I might lock it in place so I don't fuck with it later. All right, so let's one, give another two, listen three, and see who sinks three, next. Two, Looks one, like it's A. probably me. Yeah, shut up, shoe. I gotta sink. Yep, that's me. 
I'm a little little late, so I'll come back. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Yep. Good on me. I'm synced. Don't need to look at mine anymore. Uh, it looks like Mason is next. So he, usually, he usually starts a little later. I scrub along to where I can find where he visually syncs on his screen. Alright, I found where he has synced, that little bastard. All right, so Mason's waiting to sink. See if I can line it up. One, two, three. Uh, all right, he's uh, he's already at three, and I'm at two right now. I just usually like to go over it, make sure I got it right. One, two, three, three, two. See, this happens just a bit faster than the other stuff. So I'll come in here and I'll pull his just a bit ahead. One, two, three, three, two, one. Boom! Perfect. So Mason's synced. We get Colin's track open. So Colin is already at three and he hasn't started talking, so I'm gonna pull him back a bit. Three, two, one. Boom. There he is synced. So I'll unlock all this stuff. Open it all back up. And boom. There's all of us synced to all of our gameplay stuff. So now what I like to do is I click and drag and then control K cuts wherever this this little scrubber thing is. So all this stuff I don't need. Boom, delete it. Alright, so now I have to actually find the start of the video itself. So right now it looks like the game hasn't started. Your we just kinda Yeah, we, we're still kinda talking, so it's really dead right here and you can notice yeah, it's really dead at the front and then Jesus all the waveforms of people uh just yelling and screaming. So Go along and I'll find the start of the video for you. Let's see, what looks like shoe screams right here. Adventure. Yep, that is definitely the start of the video. Let me scrub back just a bit. Boom. Right there, Control K. Right here is going to be the start of our video. So, out here in some dead space, right click and then hit this button called Ripple Delete. It takes everything to the front of this sequence at 0000000. 000 000 000 000 000 000 000. So now I take all the audios, I know, and I control C, good old copy, and I delete them. So I've got them saved in my clipboard right now, so I just want the gameplay and the gameplay audios in this sequence called sync. So now I do the same thing as everything else, right click, new sequence from clip, boom. All of this stuff is now crunched into this thing right here. So I'll take this. And I'll actually lock the audio in place because I don't want to copy over it. And then I'll control V, paste back in my audio. And it should be all still synced because they have the same starting points right here. They all start at the exact same spot. So boom, I'll take this. And I'll scoot it back just a bit to get the intro in there. I'll usually bring it up, up there. And I zoom out and here's where that master track comes in. I'll take it. It has the same ending point as everything else. I'll take all this stuff and I'll scoot it back to the same ending point. And then come in here. I see all this stuff is. I don't need it. I'm just grabbing the front of it and scooting it back. So right there's the start of the video. This is all. This master track is all of our four tracks mixed into one. So I usually take it and I turn it down about ten just so it's kind of in the background just in case anybody gets too quiet it has a master track of everybody and I'll put the same presets on the master track as normal get that out of the way and boom we're done with the audio I'll rename this one I don't know let's play Halo 5 infection boom I spelled it wrong don't worry about it now I gotta go back in here and I'm gonna get the intro and the outro so I have them all saved in this file called final videos intros and outros so I'll probably uh, it's always hard I'll probably choose shoes outro and then uh, probably the electronic nah shoes outro and the jazz intro I like the jazz intro boom take them in so I take the jazz intro and I'll pull it to the front of this clip right here at zero zero so this will be the very start of our video right here Bam. All right, so we do the same thing as before. I don't even need to scroll over here. I'll just right click and hit ripple delete. Boom, everything comes right here where I need it. 
So now I like to, I usually like to start the audio ah, just a bit before. It's right where this fades white is where I like to start the audio. So we'll go until after shoe screams infection. And then boom. Grab all that stuff, control K. And then I'll delete this video source and then I'll take all this stuff and I'll scrub it over just a bit. That's probably a little too much. Eh, fuck it. Put it way over here. And then we'll see how that sounds. Boom. So there's our start of our video. And then just to come in from black is a little video transition. Go to dissolve, cross dissolve. I'll take that. And I'll put it right there. That way it kind of fades into Colin. You see how it fades in? Mm, fades in. Boom. So. There's the, the, just the inner workings of our video. I'm hitting control S just to save it, just so I don't fuck anything up. So from here, if you notice, there's just Colin's screen in this, but in our sync, we, uh, we have all of these, but Colin's at the front. So here's how we do this multicam video where I watch all the video stuff at the same time. You take this sync right here and right click on it. Under right click, there's this thing called multi-camera, and I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna enable it. Right, so now it's my file. So why isn't my file? Because my file is V1. That would be the first video source. And then here, you know, what you're asking, why is everybody else? So under this, right here, the, it, there's a there's an option under this little screwdriver, wrench, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. I said screwdriver. Click it. Hit multicam. Boom. There's all the stuff. So I normally take this up a little bit, and. I pull this down as much as I can. I'll shrink this so I can get most of the audio in there as well. So here is how I edit videos. Usually since Shoe talked first, I'll take this right here. If I just click it and I click on Shoe's camera, it switches it to Shoe. And you see it down here it says Shoe. There's Dalton, Mason, and Colin, right? So I usually start on Shoe. And the way you can do this is you can actually, you can either click it, which some people like to do, or you can press 1 for camera 1, 2 for camera 2, 3 for camera 3, and 4 for camera 4. And I usually always have them in the same setup, so I'm always 1, Shoe's always 2, Mason's always 3, and Collins, or whoever's 4 is usually 4. It's just natural for me, whenever I talk, I press 1. It just happens. That's how I've been editing videos for a long-ass time. So, but for this, I'm going to start on Shoe. So I press 2 to start on Shoe. Now the way I can do this is I just press the space button and I can just watch the video and as the video goes I can press one, two, three, four. And you see that little red circle shows me exactly whose camera I'm on. So boom, I can press all these buttons. And then if I stop the video, hmm, you see all of these cuts within this big, like it looked like this at first and now it looks like Swiss cheese and if I zoom in here enough you can see the individual camera switches right there so if I kind of back up or I go absolutely balls over here see how it switches it remembers exactly what I pressed at exactly the right time right so I'm actually gonna get rid of all that junk that's a uh, control Z just undoes everything so now comes the actual editing of the video process it's where I watch the entire video all 20 minutes of it and I click or I press the number to whoever's camera has the action or whoever is talking at the moment. Since the game isn't started yet and we're still on the loading screen, I'm talking here. So I'll probably start at Shoe and then as I talk, I'll switch to my camera and it looks like Shoe talks again and then Mason. So I'm going to give you a little idea of how I do this. I'm not going to talk during this. I'm just going to let you watch how I do it. You just watch up here. I don't know how to make this bigger. I, I usually just do it just like this. It's a little small for some people, but... I have the space, so I, this is how I work with the space. So here is an example of how I will edit this video when it comes out. So let's press play. Right, you don't need to yell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I, go ahead. You got it. Do it again. Infection. <laughs> <laughs> let's play. Let's play. All right, who's the dipshit who already threw a grenade? All right, I'm already missed something since I talked about a dipshit throwing a grenade, but you're on Mason's screen, so you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, right? And we're also we're also really quiet right here. I don't know why. So what I like to do is I'll take this, and then there's this little tool over here called a razor. I'll click on it, and then I'll make a little chop there, chop there, 
I'll chop there and I'll chop there. And then I'll come back to my clicker. So that, that singles out this little audio track right here. And then what I can do from there is I can turn this one individual section of this audio track up just a bit more so it's a little bit louder since it's really quiet right there. So I'll just crank that up just a bit and I'll <laughs> start playing there. Boom. Well, so we're back at it. Boom. See, I, I'm trained for this. You're probably watching over here. But over here, Shu has already died, and I'm still on my screen. And I, I want to see what happened to Shu. So I'll, I'll usually backtrack it just a bit, wait till the grenade's done, because you know exactly what I'm talking to, and then I'll probably switch to Shu right about here. So let me back up and give myself plenty of time to press the 2 button. All right, who's the dipshit who already threw a grenade? Boom, and I'll switch to Shu. You see him die. And then I'll switch to Mason. He's going to die too. Alright, so you hear, you, you kind of hear Mason going la 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 in the background, so I'm gonna, and nobody else was talking here, so I'm going to kind of switch back here, and I'm going to switch to Mason instead of myself. They're both, uh, I'm going to turn you down, Mason. God damn it! Oh, Is he going to turn you down or turn you up? One of the two. Uh, yeah, you pick. <laughs> damn it, I was thinking I got killed. That's it. I'm already missing some action on shoe screen, so I'll just back up just a bit more. Colin, why did why did we separate? Uh, what we the? All right, I missed Mason dying because I was on shoe. So let me back up the dude again. Colin, why did why did we separate? Uh, we what the fuck? I just spawned, dick. I did. We didn't separate. Right here. God yeah. damn it! I'm falling here. Okay. Cool. Get We're still good. Fuck. Hey, get this. A lot of shit just happened there, so I don't I don't like to make jumpy cuts. I'll just give you whatever's best screen at the possible moment. So let me back up and let me try this this little section again. Alright, so that's probably a better cut than what I had before. So now I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna show you the entire process for the twenty minutes. So this is this is just uh, the the rough way of what I do. If the section's too quiet, I'll usually come in here and I'll boost it just a bit. If you know, like if fuck, where was it when Mason was doing his thing in the back? Oh, fuck, it's like right around here, right? I think. Yeah, so I'll come in there. I'll get this razor tool. Boom, boom. Come back here, and I'll usually I'll just make this just a bit louder so you, it's more prominent yeah probably a little bit more you, the thing with boosting it up is you're gonna hear some feedback you know you can hear a little bit of the feedback in the background but uh, fuck it all right so now I'm going to I'm gonna fast forward to when this video is done so here it is unfinished I've got a minute in and I've got like 19 more minutes to go so I'll get back to you guys when this video is absolutely at the very end of the editing process Zambo! look at that I got a killionaire <laughs> <laughs> fuck you you lazy lazy crew loud let's see <laughs> your lazy clue round shoe motherfucker let's stop alright so we're at the end of the video now cut it right where I start screaming you right about there control K this back half stuff delete we don't need that stuff actually I'm gonna have this cut out in the middle of my fuck you because I was wrecking shit that as you will see in the video fuck you there you go so now we're 20 minutes went down to about 16 I cut about four minutes out so now what I like to do is I take the outro and I put it right here boom and it's it's black all the way up So I'll and then right before it crashes, Control K, and then I press the right click and I go up to unlink, and that deletes this uh, or it severs the link between the audio and the video. Because I'll take out the video, usually scrub this back just a bit, and then I'll take all this and then I'll.
push it to the front right about there so the outro really starts the music for the outro starts right about here and it swells up and then it goes into the outro like so i'll play the same video clip Zambos. Look at that, I got a killionaire. <laughs> Fuck you! Thanks for staying tuned for this whole video. Boom. So as you can compare, here is a finished video with all the cuts in it and all of the audio cuts within it. I know, right? It's fucking ridiculous. Now the way to get this out to the world for you guys to see is click down here, control M. And that pulls up this little uh, render called right now we take the audio format and I usually put it down here to this H.264 it'll think for a minute match source that's what you want to make sure you want to make sure this matches source down here so it's in 1080p that's just under 30 frames a second just because our hapogs can only do 30 frames a second because they're they're the most uh, most of us are the hapog rockets and it can only go 30 frames at 1080p it can go 60 frames but it'd be 720 and I prefer I prefer 1080 at 30 than 720 at 60. Just make sure up at the top it says match source high bit rate and it's the H.264. All right, everything else should already be fine. I haven't, I don't really mess with a lot of this stuff. And then right down here is the estimated file size. So it's 1,284 megabytes. So it's just over a gigabyte. Done, right? So now we just hit export. What it's going to do, it's going to render all the audio files. So all in all, it'll probably be like a 20, 25 minute process. So I'm going to let you skip through this and we'll just get right up to uh, posting the video. Boom. All right. Video is done and it's rendered. So really the next thing to do that I do is I, uh, I make the thumbnail for it. I have my own... Let's see where's that thumbnail maker there it is sure save it I don't give a fuck <clears throat> all right so here's my thumbnail maker I already have the little watermark already preset there and and locked so I don't fuck it up it's just our speaker it's nice so I come in here and actually during the editing process I found a good screenshot Fuck. So here's here's all the, all the thumbnails I make. I found a good screenshot. I named it Infect that I would like to edit with. So boom, there it is. I know I, I know I'm self-centered. So I usually come up here to Program and I right-click and I hit Undock and that lets me move this whole panel around because underneath of it is the Effects panel. So make sure that I have the picture selected. I pull this down because I don't really need to see it and I go to Effect Controls and right here is some of the the, uh, the motion stuff that I do. So I'll take this and I'll just zoom in with it. Boom, there's a good good view. I'll usually scroll it over so I can fit some text on there. All right, that's probably good enough. This is fine to just move it back over here. So there's gonna be our thumbnail. So what I'll do is I'll take the default caption, put it there. It's still, uh, I saved it when I made the, the first Grand Theft Auto heist, which was the strip club. So I usually take that out and I'll put Halo 5. I don't want price down because that's for uh, Grand Theft Auto. This is always the hard part is finding a good text. All right, there's a good text, Halo 5. Over here and I'll copy it and then I'll paste it again. So that way I can just save all the presets and I'll change this to Infection. I'll change the color to red so it kind of stands out a little bit more. It looks kind of kindergarten-y, but fuck it. Boom, there it is. Halo 5 Infection. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this to where instead of the outlines red, that just the text itself is red. So I'll come up here. I'll do a nice little dark red. Bright red. That's pink. Bright red. Yeah. That looks a whole lot better. So boom, there's the thumbnail right here. It's a little export frame. Click on that. Name it Halo 5 Infection. If I can spell it right. Boom, there it is. There's the thumbnail made. So actually, we're done. I don't want to save this. We're done in Premiere. And uh, that's pretty much how we make a video. I'm not going to go through the, the tutorial of to upload it because that is super simple. But there you go. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you watch the video that I just edit. And if you have any questions, please feel free.
to leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them for you. Otherwise, uh, hope you guys have a good day. Bye -bye. Oh, hey, thank you for watching. I hope you. If you like what you saw, and sure you click that here and subscribe. Also, if you like it, you just leave a like on it, all right? If you want to go to our sponsor, it's pretty cool. Up here's some gamers options. Or if you want to go to Twitter, we do every video we do. Right up here. Also, you can follow me on Twitch at Divine Nightmare 57. I'll just fucking stand here and wait for you. But don't worry, I'm not gonna strip.